Hello. In this video, I am introducing to you Oppo Find N3 Flip Review. I am reviewing design, competition, and provide a conclusion, pros and cons for your best decision at the end of the video. Please kindly enjoy watching the video as following. Oppo has launched the Find N3 Flip, the next compact foldable smartphone with an improved design, hinge, performance and camera experience. It's merely an evolutionary upgrade compared to the Find N2 Flip, but it is also shaping up to be one of the best smartphones in this niche. Design The Oppo Find N3 Flip is quite similar to the N2 Flip, and that's hardly a surprise, the phone comes just 9 months after the N2 Flip launch. Oppo still tweaked enough to make those different in a meaningful way. Let's start with one of the major improvements, the IPX4 shielding. The Find N3 Flip model is splash-proof, which is a very welcome upgrade. While the IPX4 rating doesn't cover water submersion, it still means the N3 Flip can survive 360-degree low-pressure water jets, like rain or shower, and this should be enough for most of the potential buyers out there. Then we have the improved cover screen protection, Gorilla Glass Victus vs. Glass 5 on the N2 Flip. The two rear panels now use glass instead of plastic, another step towards what has been widely considered a premium build. Another change is the now thinner aluminum frame, which made space for even Kavya panels and, hence, arguably, a fancier shape. Oh, and there is a new control on the frame coming from OnePlus, the alert slider, with three different positions. The gapless flexion hinge has been enhanced, and it's now allegedly more durable thanks to a new stainless steel core. It is now rated to last over 600,000 folds or more than 16 years if you fold the N3 flip 100 times each day. Other than these minor but important improvements, the N3 flip looks similar to the N2 flip. It's a compact foldable smartphone with glass rear panels, aluminum frame, what looks like a solid and sophisticated hinge mechanism, and a large foldable OLED with a special cover sheet on top of it. And now, let's take a closer look at the Oppo Find N3 Flip. The 6.8-inch foldable LTPO AMOLED is the centerpiece of the N3 Flip, rightfully so. The first impression is that this is a lovely screen, colorful, bright, and of high contrast. The tiny punch hole is also appreciated. The foldable panel has no visible black bezels before it reaches the plastic housing. Of course, this thick plastic border is enough of a bezel itself, though one that is yet impossible to get rid of. It acts both as housing and additional protection against tiny particles, as it sticks out a bit, and when the N3 flip is closed, it doesn't allow dust to get in. There is technically a crease you can see at a certain angle, but unless you press with your finger, it is actually a tough job to feel it. We've experienced the same thing on the OnePlus Open aka Oppo Find N3. Samsung can learn a thing or two from the competition. There is one long dotted grille on the plastic housing just above the screen, this is one of the sound outlets of the top speaker for earpiece purposes. There is a second outing at the top of the phone too. As we mentioned already, the Oppo Find N3 Flip closes perfectly and leaves no gaps. The back has two glass panels with curved edges and a glossy finish. Fingerprints do stick here, but they are not obvious on the pink and gold models, while we suspect the black one should eventually become a giant smudge magnet. The top part of the rear panel envelopes the new triple camera setup, the dual-tone dual-LED flash, and the 3.26-inch cover OLED screen. This OLED is perfect for an external viewfinder for the main camera and is ideal for video capturing purposes. It also offers a lot of nice features, including running a dozen full-blown apps. The camera housing is sticking out of the back, and it's surrounded by a textured metal ring that imitates the ring of a professional camera filter. This setup contains the 50MP OIS primary, the 48MP ultrawide slash macro, 
and the 32MP 2X telecameras. You can spot the Hasselblad logo here. The dual LED dual tone flash is outside this setup, and it appears there is a color temperature sensor next to those LEDs too. When the Find N3 flip is closed, you can see and feel the bottom of the flexion hinge. It has a brushed finish. Finally, let's look around the sides of the Find N3 flip. The volume and the power slash lock keys are on the right. The power button also contains the always-on fingerprint scanner, which is incredibly reliable. The new alert slider has a cool texture, too, and it has three positions, ring, vibrate, and silent. It offers excellent tactile feedback. The top has one of the microphones and the second sound outlet for the top speaker. The bottom has the other speaker, the primary microphone, the USB-C port, and the dual SIM tray. The Oppo Find N3 flip measures 166.4 by 75.8 by 7.8 millimeters and weighs 198 grams, which is about the same footprint as the N2 flip, but 7G heavier. When folded, the N3 flip is 16.5 millimeters thick, which is not bad at all. The Oppo Find N3 Flip is an excellent foldable smartphone that not only looks luxurious but also delivers a premium build and hinge, plus, we appreciate the new glass panels and IPX4 rating for splash resistance. The Find N3 Flip is easy to handle and use when opened, but in a closed state, it is quite slippery. It is not as slick as the P50 Pocket, for example, but you still need to be careful, especially when you handle it this way. Like any other foldable of this form factor, the larger screen frame can get in the way of the smooth swiping and scrolling, especially around the crease and the hinge. But it is something you get used to rather quickly. Overall, we liked what Oppo has done with the Find N3 Flip, and it can easily stand proud among the best in this segment. Plus, there are some cool cases to make the N3 Flip feel grippy and safe in your hands. Competition The Oppo Find N3 Flip is an excellent foldable smartphone with top-notch design, screens, chipset, and cameras. Oppo advertises it as the first-ever flip with a zoom camera, but we think it is also the one with the fastest charging. Indeed, the Flip N3 gets so many things right, and we suspect few people would think twice before getting it. Still, let's explore some of its alternatives. While the 1000 euro Oppo Find N3 Flip is theoretically a global smartphone, it has quite a few markets where BBK, which Oppo is part of, isn't selling, or worse, has been banned from due to patent disputes. This is where Samsung pretty much dominates the markets. And its popular Z Flip 5 and Z Flip 4 are now far cheaper than the Find N3 Flip, the most current Z Flip 5 costs about 800 euros, while the previous model can be found for about 500 euros. Those two feature IPX8 complete water resistance and better selfie cameras, while the Z Flip 5 runs on faster hardware and comes with a larger cover screen, too. Those phones are no-brainer options if you are after a flip phone and Oppo isn't available in your market. Note that none of these offers a telephoto camera, their charging is lower, and their battery life is inferior. Vivo's X Flip is quite an interesting device with similar specs. It doesn't offer the splash protection or the telephoto camera, but it has better battery life and far better chipset stability. It could also be cheaper than the N3 Flip where available. Finally, the 900 euro Motorola Moto Razr 40 Ultra is available worldwide, and it deserves serious consideration for its iconic design, faster display, wireless charging and clean Android OS. It has inferior splash resistance, IPX2 versus IPX4, no zoom camera and not as fast charging, though. Our verdict. The Oppo Find N3 Flip seems like the most all-round flip phone on the market right now. It has a useful cover screen and a great foldable one, a sturdy design with splash-proofing, great battery life with super-fast charging for this segment, 
and the best camera kit among the flips to date. Plus, the rear cameras excel in everything, and their photos are among the best we've seen. The Find N3 Flip impressed us with performance and software, too, and we are glad Oppo will be taking care of this phone for five years. It definitely deserves flagship treatment, just like any other phone. The Find N3 Flip is not perfect, no phone is. High refresh rate gaming is absent on the N3 Flip, much like on all other BBK phones, and the phone throttles big time as an overheating prevention measure. Another very BBK thing is the mediocre selfie camera that uses a quad Bayer sensor and then saves upscaled photos. But even with these issues, the Oppo Find N3 Flip is still one of the best flip foldables right now. It has some niceties that no competitor has, such as the speedy charging and the 2x zoom camera, while the IPX4 splash proofing and new glass panels are welcome build quality improvements. Overall, we liked the Oppo Find N3 Flip a lot as it managed to surprise us more than once. It's a solid smartphone with the most feature-rich flip specs sheet, and even better, it delivers on the official promises. There is only one thing that stands in the way of the Find N3 Flip, its limited availability and sale bans in some countries. It is not that cheap either. But, if you want one of the best flip foldables out there and you are set on getting the most out of this form factor and your money, the Find N3 Flip will deliver. Pros Exquisite glass design, IPX4 splash proofing Superb foldable OLED, HDR10, bright and can be color accurate Useful cover OLED with a lot of mini-apps and playful pets Dependable battery life one of the fastest charging times in the flip segment. Loud stereo speakers, good audio quality. Flagship grade performance. Top notch photos and videos from all rear cameras, day and night. The 5X zoom turned out to be surprisingly good. Powerful color OS, 5 years of updates. Cons. No HFR gaming. Throttles big time. The telecamera should fire more often at night. The inner, selfie, camera is mediocre. Using the cover screen as a viewfinder limits video recording to 1080p. Thank you for watching. See you next videos.